Hi, I'm Laura Marie. I'd like to talk about ecstatic dance and answer the question, what is ecstatic dance? I think regular dancing is about being perceived and about performance, but ecstatic dance is generated by bodily need, not by desire to be perceived in a certain way. I believe that our bodies are made to move, pretty much. That's kind of the specialty of bodies. And letting bodies move helps us keep our feelings in motion too. Because we can store feelings in our bodies and store trauma in our bodies. And we feel we can feel a lot of stress in our bodies. So the dancing, especially ecstatic dance, can be very healing. Ecstatic dance can be done in community, and we can be witnessed while we're ecstatic dancing, but it's not about forming a positive impression. It's about doing what the body needs to do. So it comes from within. In that sense, it's deeply authentic. It's not about how we want to look to anyone, but about what our body needs to do the most. So ecstatic dance can be a healing movement like other healing movements such as Qigong, yoga, strength training, sometimes running or playing or pleasure things like sex. It's also like spiritual healing such as prayer, Ritual, intense pleasure and pain can create spiritual healing. Because ecstatic dance isn't about how we look, it can be validating. Validating in the sense that all bodies are valid bodies. It doesn't matter how we look while we're ecstatic dancing. That's not the important part at all. So letting our bodies be bodies without worrying about the perception can also be healing because we can be embodied and in motion without the the insecurities and fears that can be crea- created when we're doing something to be perceived. So that can be very freeing. Uh, and we can access new truths that are only found through movement. A few other important things about ecstatic dance are... It's important that it's consent-based. The type that I like to do is often with other people but without contact. If there was physical contact, then there would need to be consent clear beforehand. Another important thing is to have a safe container. So that often means that someone else is DJing and keeping time to make sure that that we stay within time parameters if there are some for a shared experience. So the people who are making, trying to help make the safe container, usually the people who are putting on the ecstatic dance session, are going to remain responsible, kind of like trip sitters. They're people who uh, we can trust to help us be rather safe while we go into a mentality that's different from usual. So while we're ecstatic dancing, we might kind of lose track of time or lose track of some some parts of uh, tracking reality that we usually do as we go into a slightly different state, an ecstatic state. So it can be good to have other people around who aren't going that deeply into that ecstatic state so that they can help keep us safe. Thanks for hearing this short overview of what ecstatic dance is.